Oh, here is uh, Stephen Jebediah Crowder making a statement about his divorce. I commented on my ongoing divorce on Tuesday, requesting privacy in the best interest of the family, but also by court order agreed upon by all parties. Look, broken marriages are ugly, and in them people do ugly things. Myself, of course included, I would never claim otherwise. However, due to recent misleadingly edited leaks to the tabloid press without context and not subject to consequences of the court, well, if not privacy, the next best option is truth. So today, I have filed a motion to officially unseal all files as they relate to the matter of legal record, finances, relevant medical records, including mental health history or evaluations, depositions, and any motions or sanctions from the courts of Texas. I will not be leaking private marital information to the press, but if the privacy agreements are not respected by all parties, I will address all that is a matter of irrefutable legal record in full context next week. Oh my God. I commented on my ongoing- Bro, this dude literally- <clears throat> What a f idiot, dude. He's literally trying to threaten his ex-wife on- What? He's trying to threaten his ex-wife, dog. Oh my God. Dude. <clears throat> I don't think Steven Crowder realizes that, one, he's a controversial figure with, you know, some fans- what a shitload of haters, too. And his wife is a random human, a normie. If you try to, like, debate Lord your wife, that is going to be explosively bad for you. Not that, like, I should be giving him any kind of advice on this, and he shouldn't listen to me anyway, and he wouldn't anyway, regardless, and I hope he doesn't. But, like, you're just going to look so much worse now. I mean, I'm excited, to be honest. Like, I, I, I think it's great. It's great content for me. But if you think, like... I bullied my wife and abused her so much that she got like a mental illness is going to be good for you. If you think that that statement is going to come across like positive for you, you got another thing coming, dog. That's crazy. Yeah, even red pill guys are going not a good look. Like <clears throat> when you got red pill guys who bought the Twitter blue check mark replying to you saying, not a good look, you're cooked. You're absolutely cooked. Everyone is going to bully you. Everyone's going to humiliate you. Oh my God, this is officially the downfall of Steven Jebediah Crowder. 100%. Steven Crowder is over party. When push comes to shove and like vice signaling conservatives are forced, not forced, but like when vice signaling conservatives act out on those vices that they signal against a real human being who can speak back against it. And that footage comes out when your wife is eight and a half months pregnant and you're bullying her, absolutely zero people are going to turn around and be like, yeah, actually, you really debate lorded the shit out of your pregnant wife. Congratulations. Excuse me, running defense for Stephen Crowder? No, the f he's not. There is a 0% chance, especially when XQC unironically has done a better job. Also, this Crowder shit is wild. I don't know. Everyone's making ridiculous conclusions. Oh my God. One f time, dude. One f time in his life, he shouldn't just like immediately think, oh, my situation is similar to this. It's not. Shut the f up. Literally shut the f up, Andy, okay? I'm not your lawyer, but like you have been shutting the f up so far, which is the right thing to do. That's why it's an entirely different situation. It's an entirely different f context. Just just keep shutting the f up about your thing and don't lead anyone to think that your thing is similar to his thing, okay? Because it's not. What's wrong with you? Most negative interactions look like abuse when you leak specific clips from one side in the most uncharitable ways. Did people learn nothing from the Depp trial shit? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's such a divorced dad himself, dude. Holy. Woo. Stop. Stop. I'm sorry. He's a divorced man, but like not even. No, not even. It's not the same. So I don't know why he's like literally looking at that. And then, and then, oh my God. It's so stupid. It is so incredibly stupid the twitter account is xcc chat messages yes that is a, a a bot that just like takes everything that xcc writes in his own dumbass chat and like uh, you know posts it publicly on twitter for every other dumbass to see it so like are we still apologizing for xcc are we off that train yet man shut you shut up okay i shit on xcc way more than any other content creators on goddamn platform suck my dick okay shut the up chatter god damn it i hate some of you long-term who just are such Horny, like this dude literally saw XQC mentioned in the chat, busted out the Vaseline, busted out the napkins, put it right next to himself, went, spat in his hand, and started furiously masturbating for drama, and was like, 
aggressively typing out on with the other hand. Like, are we ready to kill him? Stop, bro. I'm going to come. Please, please, bro. Let's do some drama. Bro, take XQC's cock out of your ass. Shut the fuck up. XQC is a literal dumbass for voluntarily trying to claim that he himself is uh, abusive because he thinks he's running defense, okay? Because he's a idiot who doesn't know any better to just continue shutting up about his own case, which is the reason why his own case, which is different than what they're seeing here. He'd be perfectly fine if he just kept not voluntarily doing that. Little brother, I am old enough to be your father, okay? I'm old enough to be your father. Nothing I hate more than just this platform manifesting its its in most toxic endeavors immediately. XQC. XQC can suck my dick, okay? I don't give a about XQC. I hate every time that I, like, try to parse through the truth on someone this community has, like, decided is a villain. And for good reason, 90% of the time, okay? I can't even ever say anything. It has to literally be XQC should die or nothing else. And then the other side comes in and says, wow, you're quite harsh on XQC. You're such a piece of shit. And then everyone clip chimps it, puts it on LSF, and then the cycle comes up again. And the only reason why every single one of you does it is because you can't stop. You have to like play the role of like puppet master in the social engineering. I don't want to lean into it. Okay. It sucks. No one gives a shit. I don't give a about XQC. Okay. Stop.